Hi there, Garage Master users. So I'm on my MacBook Pro. Unfortunately, my big PC has died. So um, anyway, um, I've got a new feature to show you. Uh, one of my, one of my customers um, was talking to me about part payments and people paying invoices. Uh, you know, a bit this month and a bit next month. And so Garage Master Online now can do that, and it has a new um, system. I'm just looking at it as a demo. You can do that by going to garagemastersystem.com. So I'm going to take you through the new system now. Basically. For those of you who just, you know, invoice the customer and they just pay, just carry on using it the same way you were before. It does the extra bit automatically. So if I go to customers, for instance, I'll just pick this one here. I go to edit, I go to invoices, and you can see there's an invoice and it says total paid, invoice total. So if I go to edit, you'll see it's got one payment of a credit card. Okay, so what I'm going to do is quickly go to the dashboard and quickly create a new appointment. Um, let's call it... Uh, create a new customer Jones one two whatever we like um, and like with everything I can um, the street I always pick the street because I know that I'll just pick anything like that and that's in America but you know you, because we've got in, uh, most of the addresses in the world on the system um, that we pulled from uh, Google so um, I don't know. I'll pick I'll pick this place because I know it very well. Uh, next, and I'm going to new registration. Just going to book an appointment. Uh, works completed. Replace uh, wheels. Just making this up as I go along. I uh, set the time to like 12 o'clock. Save and close. And it says entry inserted. And I'm for refresh. Now you see that there is uh, John Jones. That's the new one I just created. Um, there's three things there. Customer invoice. So let's go to the cust Let's go to the invoice. Now of course there isn't one because it's uh, I just created the entry so let's say it's time to invoice him here he is he's in here like that there's no data on there at all so what I'm going to do is go straight in and add uh, some labor and you'll see it pulls that from the parts there's no supplier let's say I did five hours labor five hours thank you have asked sorry about that <laughs> so helpful always make sure you've got good antivirus of course we uh, you won't have that trouble with Garage Master Online because it's all online. So uh, uh, there you go. Right. So save, saving it. There's a lamp. So I've got an invoice for 360. Let's say I didn't actually use any parts, just for simple, simple, simple use. Save and return. You'll see it's white. So it says paid no total paid invoice total now. So watch this very carefully because it's very quick. Let's say I make up some mileage. Uh, payment method was Bitcoin. Um, no, let's say pay cash paid today and I'm going to click the pay button I'm just going to save and edit and show you what happens you'll see that what happens is it's automatically created the payment record for 360 pounds and it matches and actually if I go back to my invoice you'll see that it's all matched everything's cool okay now what I could do is let's say the guy is only going to be 200 pounds straight away I can just edit this one to 200 pounds like this save and return now what happens now is when i go back to my invoice list save and return you see it's orange because that's a part payment so let's say if we go back to the um let's go back to that invoice again let's say a month later we can add another one let's say on the let's say he actually paid this back in november uh, which is actually a month before but it doesn't matter we can do that and he paid with credit card and he paid the remainder which is 160 260 okay uh, save and return and you can see that now he's paid 460 now what happens when I go back to this he's actually paid too much if I go save and return you see it goes red and it's gone red because it's, he's paid too much he's actually 100 pounds too much so let's go back into it and I'm just going to edit back this to 160 maybe I made a typo or something so it tells you what's going on with the payments save and return okay it's 360 now and if I go back you'll see that it's green because the payment invoice uh, and total is the same so that means you can now take part payments, which is really neat. But if you don't want to do that, you don't have to do any of that. So basically, when you go in and do your thing you were doing before, which is you put your payment details and hit paid and hit save and edit, or you use the customers, the batch payment function here. Um, unfortunately, they've all been paid. But if you did the same thing here and go to and just click on this here and go paid and save and return, it worries about adding those payments records for you. You don't have to do any of that. So now let's go and have a look at how we can do some reporting on it. So basically, uh, if you go to reporting now, you'll find that the sales um, is actually coming from the pay pay payment records. You can see we've got some nice charts going on. 
Um, and we've got a new tool called the payment summary tool to go here and you can see here's a list of things going on and you can see the orange ones and the reason they're orange is because they're part payments so the invoice total was like 1500 pounds but they only paid 500 pounds here and there's that other one remember we did 160 quid their invoice total is 360 and again down here now the cool thing is i can go into that payment edit the payment and there's the invoice and you see it's green because they've actually paid the whole invoice edit again and there's my two payments there so if you can either you know you don't have to use any of this don't forget that garage master online is designed so that you can use as little or as much as you want because a lot of what it does it does automatically okay but if you want to use these advanced features you can i mean actually in here as well so basically if you're using your batch invoice payment for your customer and we go to st matthews for instance who i know is a customer you can carry on doing exactly what you were doing before and you won't even notice the fact that there's this whole new thing at the back of it that allows you to uh, create part payments. Um, so that's it, really. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So uh, GarageMasterOnline.com will be doing a full demonstration video, a new one, because, of course, this is quite a major part of the system to be able to do part payments and to pay things over um, a longer time. So I hope that's really useful. Uh, there will be some updates to the reporting section um, in terms of the, this bit here with um, sales and purchases and this that downloads the spreadsheet, there's going to be a new screen there and what that will do is um, it will show you like an invoice summary so we've got this invoice summary tool here um, so if we go back to reporting so there is a, th yeah there's an invoice summary download so there'll be, there'll be a payment summary download as well if you see something, if you want something that you don't see please get in touch because we're really excited to um, be um, be building this stuff for you. Uh, don't forget on reporting as well. You can. Oh, I know I didn't show you actually. I'm always doing this. Like <laughs> suddenly think of something I didn't show you. So let's say I want to look up a certain invoice. I can go one thousand and five. This has got two part payments. Hit enter. Look at that. So you can actually see all the payments and everything on this invoice by payment scene. If you're interested, have a look at www.garagemasteronline.com. There's a full um, blown system there's a pro version that includes um the pro version includes uh the haynes pro vehicle data all built in and the basic the standard version it's not basic there's nothing basic about it but the standard version includes all this stuff garagemasteronline.com thanks for watching